Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again giving you the follow-up video on the cast while channeling Incinerate into, at this point, Volatile Dead uh, Trickster using cast while channeling stuff and, like I said, Unearthed Totem which gives a good amount of corpses so that you can cast while channel a corpse skill which was initially uh, Detonate Dead and still is occasionally but for the most part it is almost always Volatile Dead at this point uh, because it's just a little bit stronger uh, for everything, unfortunately. I do like Detonate Dead, I do think it's a cool skill, and I did enjoy playing it, and it's still probably better for a few maps here or there, but basically Volatile Dead scales too well with all those additional uh, progers, or rather Volatiles that kind of look like progers, but they're just area uh, effect balls. Um, you spawn a lot of those and ultimately they do just about one-shot everything in the game as per Volatile Dead. It has been that way since it's put into the game. Uh, I don't have anything too fancy, no like Helm Enchant for Volatile Dead to make it more busted. It's just plain strong. That said, the Incinerate itself actually does quite a lot of damage as well. Uh, you should be able to notice uh, throughout certain boss fights and all of that. Uh, and it is the activator for the corpses a lot of the time. So when you actually first start a map or a delve, you kill with Incinerate um, almost always against the weaker packs. And then after that, you spawn some Volatile Deads and that's when they fly in and take out the heavier enemies. But like I said, uh, fully charged up my Incinerate um, using the cast while channeling setup is at something like 1.5 million damage. So if you really wanted to, you could make this a pure Incinerate character um, using a 7 link staff and just pure Incinerate. You'd end up hitting something like 4 million damage for Incinerate if you really wanted to. But I like the versatility of this cast while channel that then also adds the really ranged aspect of the Volatile Deads to come in and take out mobs. For example, this Chiula here. Didn't want to really face tank that, and uh, your Volatile Deads can then just sit back and destroy everything. Uh, likewise with these um, level 83, uh, 260, up all the way up to uh, 450 uh, depth delves. The cities, the Abyssal cities, the um, Vile cities, you just stand on the node and cast while channel uh, your Volatile Dead. You can get plenty of damage going from your incinerate, especially with this area, so it does kill quite a lot on its own, but then the volatile deads fly around and kill things before they even have a chance to attack you. So it ends up being somewhat of a strong uh, combo synergistically and works out rather nice for um, delving. So I did do quite a lot of delving on this character and um, that is because, well, it is fairly strong in this um, in the DPS and the potential playstyle of the uh, defensiveness of it. It's not particularly uh, tanky to take too many hits. I mean, I've got something like 4.7k life, uh, like 15, 1600 mana, and something like 800 ES. Uh, basically always up, because Trickster has huge utility in that, in that you're almost always going to be topped off while actually mapping, but uh, ultimately it's just because we have huge damage. So you can see the kinds of single target we're going here. These are pure breach stones, so I level 82 or something, tools, zoffs, and and uh, also just any sort of Guardian maps, I would have very, very rarely die to any of this because the damage in the playstyle is pretty comfortable and there is quite a lot of min-maxing you can do for the character. So initially I beat the entire um, sort of game and uh, all the bosses and Uber Elder off of level 19 gems and... Uh, yeah, nothing too particularly special. In the end, I did end up viling my Volatile Dead. That hit level 21. I then bought a level 4 Empower. Um, I then got Mark of the Shaper and uh, a real Elder Ring so that I have a lot more damage. And since the last video, I have, as I mentioned, uh, gone up something like 50% damage. And it's the damage that you have at this stage is completely absurd. Potentially one of my highest. It definitely rivals Ice Nova, uh, which was my previous highest, as long as you have the ability to stand still and get uh, the right damage off. So it is actually probably even a bit more setup than Ice Nova because you have to have your unearthed totem down shooting corpses. You have to be standing there cast while channeling and uh, eight stacks of incinerate is also going to be your max. A lot of the time the damage is just way more than you'll ever need so it's not particularly necessary to go that hard for uh, setting up the damage but it is possible to have insane amounts of burst uh, if you get the correct setups going. And it was pretty satisfying to play, but let me tell you, for Uber Elder, this thing is not particularly well suited. Because like I said, there's some good setups. There's some 
um, cast while channeling need needed to be stood around. You have to have your um, totem down and uh, ultimately Uber Elder is a fight where you really want to move around in and that's what I wanted to show you guys here. This fight here, um, I didn't even have a Dream Fragments on which I do recommend doing for this if you're going to be playing the same character as me. Replace your Mark of the Shaper for a Dream Fragments and uh, it's probably going to be worth doing. But this fight here, um, I did several runs deathless. This one was as well deathless, but it was probably one of the more entertaining ones I've done recently. So I'll leave you guys with this one. Hope you enjoyed the character and the video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. And I'm not running clarity. I don't think it's worth the mana region at the moment. I'm just trying to have a larger mana pool for my mom. At least that's what I'm trying. Alright, so we bursted through both of those phases very nicely. Now I've just got to survive. Got frozen by some bullshit just then. Oh fuck! Off! Oh, I'm dead. Not dead. Dude, did my cast of damage taken water cooler just save me from that shit? Because <laughs> that's skill if it did. Now, I didn't mean to do that, but it was definitely skill. Like subconscious passive skill. I'm dead! Not... Fuck, it ported me back into him? But once again, subconscious passive skill. What? Well, that run had everything. Milady. All the dramas. And so much skill. Dear what? I think it's 20 months in a row. Welcome back. Have you ever seen such a display of gaming prowess while not even trying?